Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel Cyrus Creations and I trust God you all are doing. Today I'm here with another sewing project. As we know, it's already prom season started. So I decided to bring in other prom dress authorizations. I have did this project so many times on a wedding prom and party dresses. But this time I decided to share this easy quick tutorial on my YouTube channel so I can help out my subscribers. As you can see, we have this gorgeous prom dress in front of us. Everything is perfectly fine with this dress. The fitting is fine, length is fine. All we're just going to take in from the armhole area. So when you have a dress like this, who have a straps, you're going to take in from the top area, especially if your dress fitting is perfectly fine. If your dress need a fitting, then you definitely can take from side and also can fix the problem with the shoulder area. But since this dress fitting is perfectly fine, so we are going to take in from the top. As you know, I already have a pin, so we can uh, take the exactly measurement and start doing our project. On other pro tip, I want to give to you, like my client, she was thinking she also need a hemming on her dress because she was trying her dress uh, without adding the pins. So once we had add the pins, we had exactly size of her shoulder. After that, we figure out that she no need any hemming on her dress. So before doing that mistake, go straight to your hemming of dress. First fix the shoulder and then measure again and then figure out if you need a hemming or not. Before heading down to the project, if you are new to Cyrus Creations, just go ahead and subscribe. I teach sewing, cooking, and DIY projects. Let's go ahead and start down to the project. Here the dress I take off from mannequin just to make our project easy to handle. And if you, you notice the rest of all the heavy dress I have put on a chair so I can have enough space on my table just to deal with the top of this dress. Okay, so if you see, I already have a leave one pin on, on one strap, but the other one I already have removed. Total, we need a full inch to take in, half from front and half from back. And as you can see, this is our opening line here. Simply, we're just going to take a seam ripper and remove these old stitches. We're gonna open from sides and then we will take in front fabric and the lining fabric. I also got my hand needle matching thread, uh, thread cutter and I also uh, get ready my sewing machine as well with the matching threads just to make sure we're gonna stitch uh, with the two joints fabric and then rest we will do hand stitch like we have here if you notice that's a hand stitch so let's remove previous stitches and start our first because since this dress have if you notice that's our binder too the piping binder so we don't want to disturb that one because that's make a neatness to the straps so that's why I'm paying more attention to find correct stitches to remove there you go And we have need half from front and half from back, okay? Okay, and I'm just gonna flip the both fabrics inside out so we can figure out they are good to sew, okay? So just go ahead and mark your fabric how much you need to take in i'm going to add pins on a 
half inch okay as you can see I have a mark my lining which is half inch from front and half at the back so we will have a one full inch taken from the shoulder so first I, I'm going to stitch the lining and after stitching then I will cut the extra fabric and then we will see the top fabric and here our lining is done now the front part is left okay so you have to open this so you can have less bulkiness all right and this front is a little tricky since it's had that the binders piping on the side okay so what I'm going to do I'm first going to find the center and here it is a center and somehow I have to remove the extra stitches and then I will show you when I open the front fabric not all the sleeve going to have a this piping so you will be having uh, easy to do this project but this is little complicated but I will show you how to do it. now you can see I have open binder from both sides and we have a center of actual fabric and I also have a find out where is our actual joint okay of both panels so we already have it done our uh, lining on the back we are just only paying attention at the front so the first we are going to fix the center fabric which is our actual strap and simply the same way we have take in our uh, lining exactly on the same way we are going to flip this fabric I just have open enough so I don't have a hard time to putting back but still you need enough space to flip out your fabric wrong side outside and uh, just pay attention sequence fabrics are hard to work with and you don't want any beading go inside of your sewing machine okay especially this fabric is a sensitive okay and i am going to mark again half inch and then we're just gonna stitch okay and we are going to cut extra fabric just to make sure don't have a bulkiness and now our both panels are fine front and back but see these two we have extra so first we go, we go going to do front one and open the stitch just to have a flat fabric and the rest we are just going to do hand stitch and the extra fabric we definitely have to tuck inside okay so the thing which I'm going to do is simply going to pin up first and figuring out how much fabric we have extra and that way I can tuck extra piping All 
Okay, somehow they are coming together, one side, and going to do on the other side same too. And remember, I'm just doing a front, the back I'm not worried about right now because back is a symbol. Same way too, tuck extra sequence fabric. Okay. Now I'm going to stitch with the hand since it's a sequence fabric so we can do with the hand and we're just gonna first sew the binders and the sequence fabrics together and then we're going to close these openings and our project will be almost finished all right Okay, so we just did one side and we are going to do other side. Okay, that's the front and that's the back I pin up. And we are just going to do blind hem stitch. Okay, one side is done. We're just gonna secure our thread and then we will be doing the other side. Okay, now I'm going to move on the other side. And our other side is also hand stitch. And I'm just going to close the thread. Okay. So here it is. It's look perfect because you cannot see any stitch. Everything is inside, tuck in, and our one side is done. I have to work on the other side too, once I finish both, and then I will be show you the finishing project. Stay tuned. And here our both straps are professionally taken in. I'll show you the back so much for watching our today's sewing project and i hope you have learned some uh, important tips and techniques related with this project which not only can help you with this project but in your sewing skills as well if you notice i was not aware my this dress straps had two binders on a side once you start opening strap front fabric from the lining you will get to know more about your project but we were still able to handle this project and do this professionally. If you really get inspired by our today's sewing project, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about sewing, cooking, and DIY projects. I love you all. God bless you all. Be safe wherever you are. Have a lovely, fabulous day. Bye-bye.